potential. Yeah, but and, and if we, and, you know, if, it's, if the track's that bad, we can still record it but not show it. But like, if the track's, uh, I'm not, I'm not afraid of showing it. Neither, neither am I actually, because no, because that's what I was saying when I said to you, like, no, people do that shit. People, so many people receive messages from tracks that are actually bad, but they won't ever show it. Like, if we actually show it, yeah, I want to go on no authenticity, does, even if yeah. It's, I reckon even just pushing that and Be pushing... respectful, of course. And if we gain a good fan base, other people could follow suit as well, and it's giving so many people hope that aren't good to get better. Because so many people will just get shut down for not being good when they could actually get better because so many people are just putting them down, they just feel obliged to not get better. I think yeah. it's great that you keep pushing people. But that's resilience, right? That That's like, are you willing to be told no a hundred thousand times to get to a yes? All right. So, th- this is actually quite... um humbling to be even asked about our opinions of something mm-hmm. um but people a couple of people a handful of people have been reaching out asking to what we think of their music can we give them a shout out can we listen to it love to hear an opinion love to hear what you think um now this is, happens to anybody with some type of platform um but regardless instead of ignoring them we're gonna check them out and we're gonna react to them mm-hmm so these unknown, you think the guys, like these are guys are really unknown. These are guys who don't have a lot of people following them as far as I can yeah, see. We're talking from like under 50 subscribers or yeah. under 50. Like we're talking people that just like are just desperate to get people to see what they can do. They're hustling. Mm-hmm. I respect hustle. They're probably messaging the same thing to a thousand people. But guess what? Jordy Dingus, you want us to check you out? We're about to check you out. He's all the way from Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. He's been following us from then. Respect is a video just released by Noisy, uh, Noisy Vice. Noisy Vice, yeah. Um, Which is pretty good. It's pretty big. You want to see what, what we think? Okay. Yo. We're we about to check it out. Jordy, we're about to see what we think. Um, and, you know, whatever we think, man, as long as people hear this stuff, that's the message we're trying to do. We got to be honest. We got to be authentic. We got to be us. We can't just, okay, it's in a different language. Um, Can you read it? Nast Jigenstock Vlein heft um Privest Okay Jenenstein Arstein Omis No. That's pretty damn good though. I'd, I couldn't even get the prat that thing down, you know? He's friends with the color grey. Um For real. Will will Oh man, that should so, be not that should be an underrated, underappreciated. So let's see let's see what he's got after I figure out this English and find a song from him. Okay. That looks like the one I guess. Yeah, that's the video. Let me see if I can at least translate it. Translate. Look at how it translated it. Besides <laughs> gigantic pies. <laughs> the province is also talented artists. Besides <laughs> gigantic pies. <laughs> Nocturnal Amsterdam plays a key. What the fuck? All right. Just play that This shit. might be in a different language, though. So, um, so, Jordy Dingus, a.k.a. On the Fence, with the song Rose Lemonade. Let's give this a shout. Okay. On the fence, Rose Lemonade. First reaction. Yo, what do you, you feel? Damn, for someone with only 120 subscribers, I really like effort. First of all, the effort you put into the music video, meaning you find it a good cameraman, you do a lot of angles, you do the basic shit that makes your mm-hmm. video look professional. A lot of great like colors. You put effort into it, yeah. Mm. I really like the production. I'll start off on the positive, but I do. I really like the production. Mm. Um, kind of started off very, like, uh, watery, very... Uh, kind of like what do you call that sound it's like drake does it a lot where he puts his, his production sounds like it's underwater um it's a little bit like that and i love when he hit that high pitch dun, 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 dun. yeah that was that was definitely that high. caught my attention um lyrically i didn't really listen to the lyrics that much because it just talking on you know basic top and of some woman he's uh trying to seem like he's trying to uh, pursue um we've heard this topic time and time again mm-hmm. um nothing wrong with that uh I was going to say. Though, this sound, we know this sound. This sound is everywhere. We see it from Yo. Monsieur Jordan. We see it from Roy Woods. If you're familiar, we see, it's like Party Next Door. Or you go all the way to The Weeknd. Very Weeknd inspired. But yeah, you're right. right. It's a sound that's pretty prominent at the moment. 
this sound, some people would say this sound is even played out, so it's a lot harder to break through with this sound. I'd say it's R&B pop. Right. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I really like the production on this thing. I felt like the, um, the vocals were definitely drowned out a bit by the productions, like it wasn't as strong. Right. And I'd actually be really excited to see what uh, On The Fence can actually do without the use of autotune and his range of his vocals. I'd like to see that too. And how it would go with the music. That I really, makes me curious. Yeah, I'd really might like to see that. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a decent track. Yeah, decent it's, it's track. It's not a bad like, track. It's not like, for someone where you just, where it was like, yo, this is my track. Like, it's something that it's worth mentioning for sure. I would be, it'd be pretty cool if I made something like that. Yeah, you I know? don't think I could ever do something like that. Right. <laughs> it's well put together. Mm, good video. It's a nice sound. It's a sound we're very familiar with. But, I don't know. Can people expect, this is just my opinion. Uh, who the fuck are we? Who the fuck am I? Um, can people expect to break out with this type of sound when it's been done so many times? Maybe in Netherlands. Maybe this is not where you're from. Netherlands? Yeah, Netherlands. Amsterdam, Netherlands. Maybe this sound is very unique for your city. Maybe they don't know these other guys, mm. but as a world thing, as an America thing, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it, with this sort of sound, if, especially in America, you'd have to definitely break out a different sound because this sound is very, very popular at the moment. But I don't understand culture. Netherlands might not. This might be exactly. amazing to them. Yeah, exactly. Big what shout out to On The Fence. On The Fence, man. 22k views. Is this your only video? No. You have one other track. Should we pay for it? Let's check it out. Yeah, let's check it out. On the motherfucking fence. I'm a, I'm a little bit on the fence. Um, production again, very watery, un, even more underwater. The production was great on that track. It's definitely the the, the Yoop. strength. Um, the production is yeah. The producer is Yoop. He's definitely got some talent. Yo, that shit um, is fire, man. Lyrically though, um, I'm not paying attention. This is great background music for me. Vibe music, you know. Uh, I'm not really paying attention to the lyrics, but then even then when I do listen. It's not, doesn't have any much substance to me. Um, although, again, I, I like the, how yeah. you put together the music video. The music video was pretty cool. Except, a lot of the times, your mouth doesn't sync up to the audio. Um, just a small thing. I'm pretty sure I've noticed it a couple times, even in the other music video. So, when you're looking at, you rap or sing... It doesn't sync up, and, and that's a lot just of people a will see that as an unprofessional thing, and they like that. That can be just a small thing that will factor if they want to be a fan or not. It's just small things like that. The little things make the big things. Yeah, man, exactly. Um, but I now see kind of the direction this man's music is going. Mm -hmm. Very Bryce and Tillery as well. Um, yeah, I saw a lot of Drake and um, Drake, yep, and Weekend vibes. Lyrically, you're gonna need something more to capture me. But on the other hand, production definitely put this shit on in the yeah. background and just like vibe out to it. I wouldn't actually mind seeing a track where the production's not as heavy and you showing your vocals a bit more mm. if, if you are a strong vocalist. And I'd love to see it in his native language. Yeah. Um, I'd, lo I'd love to see like... Maybe, you... maybe he just speaks English. I don't know. <laughs> From the Netherlands, I'm sure his speech, I think it's Dutch yeah, there. Yeah, Dutch. Um, so I'd love to hear what that sounds like in your native language and what they think of it, your locals. Mm. But uh, on the fence, aka Jody Dingus, uh, J Jody Dings. Sorry, you've got my curiosity, Jody man. Jody Dings, you've you've piped my curiosity. Jungle Beats Radio. It's our reaction slash review mm -hmm. of your two tracks.